Hello, beautiful. How are we feeling today? We're good? We're hanging in there? Stay positive. We're gonna live our best lives during this time. And we're gonna learn some stuff about hair. Yes! Today, you're gonna learn how to cut your own hair at home properly. Let me just tell you, this video has been requested for such a long time from all of you. My channel is about going to a professional whenever you can. However, based on the current circumstances of the world that we live in, you probably cannot leave your house or go to a hairdresser because no salons are open right now. I have created a very simple guide to follow when doing your at-home haircuts and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I know half of you are gonna do it anyways and I'd rather you do it well than botch your hair and have to live with it for many months until it grows out. I also wanna make it clear that this cannot replace a hairstylist. Doing your own haircut is just never going to be that, that great. Now what a hairstylist is gonna do is really mold that haircut to your face shape and to your lifestyle and to just who you are. So this is the absolute, absolute basics of haircutting. And this is not how a hairdresser cuts hair. This is sort of a one size fits all haircut. It's slightly customizable, but it's a very general way of cutting hair. This is not the techniques we use. They're a lot different and a lot more perfect. This is the basics. And with all those warnings out of the way, let's get it started. Cha, 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 cha. First of all, you're gonna need some tools in order to cut your hair at home. What you're gonna need is maybe a couple of clips. That would be nice. Um, they can be any kind of clips. They don't need to be like this, but just clips in general will be good. Some shears, some scissors. I would recommend buying some hairdresser scissors. They're not expensive. You can get cheap ones, but at least they have the ability to cut hair. Using office scissors or kitchen scissors, it's not gonna do it as good of a job as this is gonna do. And it's going to kind of fuck up your ends if you try and do that. Luckily, you can go on Amazon Amazon and order something. It might take a couple weeks to get to you at this point, but you'll get it. You also need a comb and some hair ties. These are just like the tiny little ones. You're gonna need four of them. You can do big ones, you can do small ones, whatever you wanna do. Just a hair tie in general will work just fine. And a brush would be great in general. You definitely should have one of these. Here is everything you need. And let's bring in my client for today. Can you guess who it is? She's extra really special. Miss Manny Quinn, come on in girl, come on in. Oh, hi, beautiful. How are you today? Boop. <laughs> um, you, Miss Thing, have been in more videos than any Miss Manny Quinn ever. Usually your time is done by now, sweetie. I don't know how she's doing it. But maybe today is her last and final day. <gasps> Did I just say that in front of her? Oops. As you can see, Miss Manny Quinn is beautifully prepped. Um, so satisfying when hair is this straight. Her hair has been washed and you need to do this also. Wash your damn hair, apply product to protect your hair. Today on Miss Manny Quinn, I use a brand new X Mondo product that I am so excited about because I'm excited about every single product. Oh, is that not the sexiest thing ever? This is called Force Field Heat Shield and this is our heat protector. So this is gonna protect your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna make sure your hair stays healthy. You get absolutely no heat damage. It's also gonna add a nice amount of hold to your style. And we included Pro Vitamin B5 in here to thicken your hair fibers and make your hair more luxurious. There's also Ammo Dimethicone in here, which is one of the heat protection agents in this formula. It also provides very long lasting conditioning benefits. This baby is, Oof. if you have damaged compromised hair, please protect it. It is so important. Also, if your hair is healthy, protect it. That way your hair is always healthy and beautiful and vibrant and shiny. And that's what we love to see. Now I also took some Viper smoothing oil through her ends just to give her a really sleek, shiny, glossy look before we get started with the haircut. You can find out more about Force Field on our website at xmondohair.com. It'll be linked below for you. It is not released yet. It'll be released soon. And you can keep up to date with new product launches on our Instagram page, xmondohair. Follow us there to find out when this product is launching. So after you've applied the proper products, please blow dry, then fully straighten your hair, bone straight. Today, we're gonna be cutting on dry hair. As a hairdresser, we usually cut on wet hair, right? Usually you get your hair washed and then cut. But 
today we're gonna work on dry hair because what dry hair is useful for is seeing the actual outcome of what you're doing sooner than later. Once you cut a piece, you know exactly what it's gonna look like when it's dry because it is dry. Now we cut hair when it's wet as a hairdresser so that we don't have to put all that work in beforehand to straighten it and make it really perfectly straight before we cut. The water acts as kind of a weight to the hair so that we can get all those little kinks and curls out while we're cutting. So having perfectly straight hair is gonna be very important for today's job, okay? So make sure everything in the back is all straight, all those little pieces underneath, all the front pieces are completely straight. And one other thing before we really start, if you have curly hair, this isn't for you. If you wear it curly and natural all the time, you're not gonna wanna straighten it and then cut it. Because you wear your hair in that natural state all the time, you should really be cutting it to the shape as how you wear it. So a curly haircut is gonna be a lot different than what I'm doing today, and maybe this isn't exactly for you. But if you wear a blow dried and straight all the time, then this is for you. You can also use this. Now that we have that all done, we have our hair blow dried, straightened, bone straight. Take your time with that ladies or gents or anything in between. Let's get into the technical stuff. We're gonna start off by doing our four sections. We're using four sections, not two. That's right. I see a lot of people doing two sections and pulling it to the front. Now why that's bad is because when it's pulled to the front and you cut it there, when you pull it to the back, you're gonna get a lot of overhanging length um, and it's gonna look kind of like a V, but like not a very cute V. That's kind of dated, that whole V look. Um, it's not my cup of tea, it's not my style, so we're not doing that today. So we're gonna part our hair just like how we would part it normally. So if you part it to the side, part it to the side. If you part it to the middle, part it to the middle. Now that we have our part in the middle all set, you wanna bring it all the way down to the back. Okay, so we have it parted like this, all the way down the back. Now that we have that, we're gonna then section out each of those slices into two more sections. So we're gonna go to the top of the head and you're gonna lay your comb on there and you're gonna find where the apex is. That's the high point of your head, the tallest part. And I'm gonna take the comb from that apex and go right behind her ear all the way down. Right there, right behind her ear. And those are our two sections on this side. And then you're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So for now, I'm just gonna throw a couple of clips in the back to keep them separated. Okay, done with step one. Please make sure your hair is all brushed out or combed out. And let's start off with this front left section. You're gonna kind of want to see how your hair falls and be like, look in the mirror and figure out where you want your hair to land. If it's like right here, just mark it with your fingers and remember that spot. We're gonna take one of our elastics, we're gonna comb it together in our hands and we're gonna make a little ponytail right where we want our hair cut. Make sure you're not directing the hair forward like this, okay? You want want it to be right on the shoulder. So if your shoulders were there, it'd be like this. She don't have no shoulders. <laughs> She's like, I don't need shoulders. And I'm like, okay. And right about here, I'm going to put my elastic in, all right? You can put it up high and then you can kind of drag it down. But make sure when you're putting it in, you're not lifting this section up or down, all right? You're not going like this. You're going like this, exactly how it should lay. Make sure to keep tension on that hair at all times. So now that we have that in there, to the best of our abilities, we're gonna take this and just bring it down. If you need to, you can just drag this down a little bit to exactly where you wanna cut it. So let's do like that much hair and it should lay nice and flat. Now that we have our front section done like that, let's move on to the back. It would be nice if you had a friend there to help or a mother or a father or anything, just anybody, a dog, I don't know. So you're gonna be sitting like this. You need to comb out your hair down the back, put the tie in back here. You're not bringing it forward, you're not bringing it to the side. You're just gonna lay it down your back, all right? You see how I'm not directing it forward or back? It's just straight down. If you have a lot of hair, you can do more than four sections. That's totally fine. I'm gonna do just four sections to keep it simple today. And we're just gonna bring that down, slide it down to meet the other one. If you don't have anybody to help you and you can't see the back of your head, you can comb it flat, take your hand, keep that tension on it just the way it's laying right now, and then follow it forward and put the tie on and don't lose that tension because we want it to always lay flat in the back. So if it's going like this when you put it back, that's not right. It needs to lay perfectly flat. So we're gonna repeat those two steps on the other side and I'll see you in a second. So 
So what you can also do now is just put the comb across and just check if everything is straight. And in the front, don't worry if you have pieces coming off, that's totally fine. Those are just your layers. That's just face framing you have going on there. It's okay if some strands are coming out. We just want your length, okay? We're just dealing with the length right now. And we can put this comb in between and just make sure it is all straight. Now onto the fun part. We're gonna start cutting our hair. <gasps> Are you scared yet? <laughs> well, you shouldn't be because you're in good hands with me, okay? I'm gonna be doing this a lot where I have my scissors and my comb in the same hand. You can do it if you'd like. This is how it should look. Totally understand if you don't wanna do it. It's kind of hard. So you can always just leave the comb down, pick it up when you need it and comb. You may have more sections than this. You may have like six. That's totally fine too. We can actually just lift it up now at this point. It doesn't really matter where we lift it to because our section is still pulled really tight into where it's supposed to go. We are gonna point cut. Now point cutting is when you go up instead of across or down, but instead of across. We're not going across, none of this. What horizontal cutting is gonna do is give you a very sharp line. We're looking for a nice blended effect. If you're trying to do a very blunt haircut yourself at home, girl, just stop trying. It's not gonna happen, it's not. You need somebody to do your hair in order to get a very perfect blunt haircut. We're gonna give you a little bit more of a feathered look, but it's still gonna be very straight across. We're gonna take that section and we're gonna start point cutting. You can also point cut downward, upwards like this, or downwards like this, okay? Doesn't matter, it's the same either way. I'm gonna go like this, because it's more natural for me, but I'm just gonna start cutting that hair. Just taking a little off at a time. There's our first cut, congratulations! All right, and we can point cut down on this and take some of the bulk out. Ooh, ooh, first cut down, first cut down. All right, let's do the back section now, the same exact way. So we're gonna lift it up, you can pull it to the front, you can cut it just like this. Just don't pull the elastic. We're gonna just start cutting this. Be careful with your hands. Beautiful, that looks really good. Let's do the other side the same exact way as we just did it on this side. All right, and our last and final section. Woo! Look at these ends. The reason why it's good to have real hair cutting scissors is because it's gonna be really hard to cut through this thick hair with anything but hair cutting scissors. See how I'm really going into that bulk and just getting rid of it? That'll make a nice effect when we let down the hair after. We did our first cut, that was so fun. Now that we have all that done, we're gonna let these sections out and hopefully, <laughs> Everything is perfectly even. Hold on, look at that first section. <gasps> ah! Let's let the next section out and we're gonna comb that out. Oh! <gasps> this is actually like coming out better than I expected. The last piece. And that is the first step. I literally, guys, have not done anything off camera to perfect this at all. All I've done is exactly what you've seen and that's the result. There is no V in the back. There's nothing weird happening. It's perfectly rounded. Now we're gonna make it even better. Our next step, this does tend to get a bit long because of the over direction we had over here. So we're gonna correct that now. We're gonna section off just a bit. We're gonna comb the hair in front of our face. Hopefully you can kind of see through your hair or else this might be a little difficult for you. We're gonna take our scissors and you see that slight bend happening in the front? It kind of goes down a little bit because of the over direction we had on the shoulders. We're gonna correct that. We're just gonna point cut across and we're just gonna get rid of that little tiny ledge. All right, and now it's gone. So now we're pretty much straight across up here. Looks amazing. Now, this might be a good place for some of you to stop. If you have fine hair, or you like your ends just feeling really thick with no layering, you can totally stop here, all right? This looks great, I'm happy with this. If you wanna get a little more style, if you wanna do a little more, we can keep going. All right, so we're gonna bring the hair back into those four sections once again. We're gonna use those four hair ties once more. We're gonna take our brush this time, or a comb. You can still use a comb if you'd like, but I prefer a brush for this. All right, so now we're gonna take the hair and bring it all to the top of our head like this. Make sure it's all nicely brushed out. Super important that it, there's no tangles, everything is very smooth. And we're gonna take our finger and go through about an inch and a half up or an inch up, just like halfway through that ponytail and let that down. And the rest of it, 
we're gonna bring up to the top. Put the elastic in while holding that tension just like this. So I just put the elastic right there. I'm not gonna cut it right there. Once it's tied tight, let it down very lightly. Leave it like that. So what we're doing here is we're gonna add layering. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the back. We're gonna lift it up to the apex. We're gonna let down half of that hair. Keep it up high while you're putting the elastic in and let it down. It's gonna look very weird, but it's all good. It's exactly what we want. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now do not move the elastics at this point. That's very important. Let's turn her back around. Get her back up here. All right, girl, you're back. You're back. We're gonna do the same thing. Point cutting, all right? Bring your fingers to the bottom. Hold it like this. And you're just gonna take off that high point. So it's a little bit like bing, bing, bing. Just get rid of that. We don't need that. And don't make this perfect. Don't cut it straight across. Please don't do that. Make it very, very feathered. And don't take off too, too much. Like an inch is probably good. If you want a lot of layering, you can go for it. I wouldn't exactly recommend it. Not at home, at least. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. So it's a little more straight across, but still kind of frayed. And keep doing that on every single section and make sure you do the same amount on each side. So if you took an inch off that side, take another inch off this side and don't make it perfect. Working my way around town, faces back on the homebound. <laughs> And our last section. You can bring these to the front of your head, by the way. Just don't pull on them. You can also kind of spread it out with your fingers and go in between and point cut. Probably don't do it as fast as I'm doing it since you're probably gonna cut yourself. Be careful of that, don't cut yourself. Okay, we've done that. Beautiful. My favorite part, we're gonna let all these sections down and see what we got. Oh, yes. What we just did is gonna be very evident when you blow dry it. Not so much when it's straight, but as you can see, we have all those little pieces now. A little bit of layering at the bottom. It's not totally blunt. You have a little bit of body, a little bit of movement in there. You see that? So pretty. Okay, let's bring it all down. So what we've done there is kind of beveled the edges and make it not so blunt. You can see when I mess it up, all those little pieces coming through down here. It looks so much more natural and a lot more movement and it's so much prettier that way. This looks awesome. Look at that movement we have now. Now that's pretty much the extent of layering I would do at home. Don't do too much of this because you're just gonna get like weird stacking. You can definitely take more off than I did and bring your layers up a little higher. Because we let half of the hair down on each section, you're never gonna like cut into your length. So no matter how much length you take off when you're doing the layering portion, you're never gonna lose how long your hair is because we let down that bit of insurance so that we don't cut into the length. But I'm satisfied with this. I really like the way that came out. Now, lastly, you guys, you can always have a little bit of fun and we can add some layering in the front if you so desire to. You can take about an inch and a half out of the front and while your hair is just laying flat, look in the mirror and point cut very so slightly and work your way down the hair, making little stairs. Beautiful and kind of round out the bottom. That looks great. And now do the exact same thing on the other side. Part out about an inch and a half, put it behind your shoulders. Just do little steps. You can always do more after, just take it easy. <laughs> and now we have some face framing going on. That will be more evident when you have a nice blowout, but you can see cute little face framing. Um, and now if your ends are still feeling a bit thick, you can point cut straight up. So you take the hair, lay it in place and point cut directly up to just get rid of a little bit of that weight. Be very careful with this or else you'll have little holes everywhere. I like the way her hair is. I think it looks amazing. She looks so beautiful. All right, now that I've finished my very simple haircut, I'm gonna curl her hair a bit, make it a little wavy and fun and I'll show you guys what the finished result is. I'll be right back. And here is the final result. Oh my God. I mean, hello. Did you order one at-home haircut? Oh, yes, it'll be right there. Yep, it's here. Okay, she looks incredible. I just quickly did a five second curling iron moment and she is done. That is her haircut. She looks fabulous. She's living her extra life. Beautiful. She's so happy. Oh my God, she needed that so bad. Her hair was way too long. And now her ends feel so much better. Thicker, amazing. Oh, 
cute. This color is so freaking cute on her. I don't know. It's kind of like weird, but like cute at the same time. Thank you, Miss Manny Quinn. You're done for today. You've made it through one more video of mine. <laughs> we'll see how many more you last through. All right, you guys. So those are my steps to doing a perfect at-home haircut. I hope it comes out good for you. I really, really do. Please be patient with it. Take your time and do exactly how I say to do it, okay? And let me know how it goes. I would love to see pictures or just write to me, whatever you want to do. You can find me on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at BradMondoNYC. You can also find my hair care brand at XMondoHair on Instagram and XMondoHair.com. You can check out our new, amazing, fabulous force field heat shield to keep your hair healthy for as long as possible. And that is all for today, guys. I hope you're all doing well and staying inside and being safe. Love all of you so much. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. This is BDSM, our slick and defined balm. This is gonna be a perfect product to finish any style. You just put a little in your hands, distribute it through the bottoms of your hair and you'll get that lived in sort of cool texture we're seeing a lot of nowadays. Also, best thing to use this for, flyaways, edges, tame them down, girl. Get them glued to that forehead. You know that look.